Lauren Session at West Virginia Women Work. It's an organization that gives women training for higher paying jobs. But it could be closing in December if it doesn't receive vital funding. Nick Farrell has this story. Here at West Virginia Women Work, we provide students with the licenses and certifications that they need to attain jobs in the construction trades, and we also provide them with the skills that they need to maintain jobs in the construction trades. West Virginia Women Work offers a tuition-free program to women who receive hands-on training that leads to higher wages and job security. In just 11 weeks, students like Cassie Moore of Fairmont will have the skills to break into fields often dominated by men. The way we break that stigma is we actually do it, and we show how well we can do it. Uh, we're just as capable of climbing on a ladder and on scaffolding as anyone else. The students at West Virginia Women Work are currently constructing a garden house. They'll auction it off after its completion and proceeds will go back to the organization. These women are learning valuable skills in construction, carpentry and craftsmanship. But West Virginia Women Work may soon stop providing this type of education in Martinsburg, Charleston, and here at its headquarters in North Central West Virginia. The organization is in desperate need of funding, and if it doesn't receive it soon, projects like this one may stop for good. Year after year, we are struggling and we are limping along, and the bottom line is we're doing good work and we're doing very important work in this state. So we need to come up with not just enough money to make it past December, but a sustainable way to survive in this state. We have identified pots of money here in our state that's already earmarked for training. That's the money that we need help accessing uh, from our state legislators, from our senators, and from our governor's office. Moore believes many West Virginians could benefit from this training and that elected officials should consider how many lives the organization has already changed. It's very good for training and it's very good for me and I hope that everybody else gets a chance to actually do it. Re